So what's up guys? My Snap-on guy just left. Getting ready to pull in this uh, Subaru to wire in LED lights up top. Just wanted to do a quick one and take you guys through it, show you guys how I do it. Um, get a good chance to put my new uh, soldering, my Snap-on soldering iron to test and uh, maybe compare it to the old one I got, the old butane style one. Um, so I got to show you that. He also brought me the uh, new October Hot Tools. I'll probably be getting the uh, the 18.4 update. It's probably on there already on the Varus. I haven't checked yet, but be getting that update because I have the subscription, so I get that I get that first. But uh, kind of browse through this thing. Looks nice. Got all the new color boxes on there. Pretty sick. The purple one looks nice. But get a chance to run through this, and then also I wanted to uh, I broke out the old Solus the two 2K giveaway scanner just looking at this thing again and man this thing is super clean um, actually didn't notice before um, it has a screen protector still on it but uh, this thing's pretty sick I'll be uh, I'll be laying down some uh, some of the some of the ground rules on the on the 2k giveaway to you guys you know I want to make sure this scanner gets off to you know maybe one of the newer techs that a knows how to use it is going to use it does need it um definitely definitely get it off to you know the supporter of the channel um I, anybody that's given me uh anybody that's donated to the channel through pay, paypal to help the young techs you guys are automatically in it um you know you great subscribers that leave comments and likes on all my videos you guys are definitely in it trust me i know who you guys are um you know just things like that i also got the uh I'm going through the box later on today or tomorrow. We're going to kick off the October tool giveaway. I'll probably do maybe two or three tools, and then winner gets to pick, kind of just like how we did last month. But uh, check out the Subaru, guys. We'll show you this thing real quick. So here she is guys, new Subaru Crosstrek, it's a decent color, the, the lights, the daytime fluorescent lights I got in here kind of, kind of makes the color look a little weird, in person it definitely looks brighter, but uh, decent color, definitely a unique color, the guy's got this set up pretty nice, um, got the roof rack on there, these are the lights we're going to be, these, these rigid lights, these are the ones we're going to be wiring in. Um, not sure if he's got a harness or we're going to be building the harness, but he's definitely got a switch. He bought a, uh, he bought a stock switch because these Subaru's got extra spots for uh, adding for accessories. So he bought another one of the switches. I'm going to see if I could get that in there. That way you get the lights on off, kind of keep it stock looking. Um, you guys know how I am about that modded stock look. But uh, this thing's pretty nice. These Subarus are, are decent. I like, like the interior. Got that leather two-tone with the, with the stitching to match. Nice little accent. Stitch, stitching on the shifter boot. On the dash. Real nice detail on these things. I'm sure, I'm sure he paid a good amount for it. This thing's pretty much brand new. 2018. There's the rims on it. What do they got, 18s on there? Deuce and a quarter, 55 R18s. This thing's pretty slick, I like it. But we're gonna, we're gonna go through it, um, get these LED lights set up. I'm gonna get all propped up, get a chance to use the new soldering iron, maybe compare it to the, uh, the old one I got that I kept in the box. But finally brought me this. I ordered this a few weeks ago. He ran out of them, he had to reorder them. But definitely looks like a decent tool. Um, maybe I'll do a quick run through on it before we start to use it. But I am going to compare it to the other one I have. So stay tuned, guys. We get these. Let me get this wiring harness out. Get my soldering gun all set up, and uh, we'll run through the game plan on how to run these lights. All right, guys. So he does. 
he does have the boxes this is what we got this is what he's got on there right now we're gonna be wiring these in I'll put a link where you can get these they seem pretty decent they seem really well built obviously rigid I think I got the same LED bar on my truck um, same brand but it does come with the harness it looks like these are gonna plug right in we're gonna run two and two get this thing round try to use as much of this harness as we can and then this get this thing ran to the switch that's where we're probably we're gonna be having to modify to get that switch to work um, maybe you have to add a relay or something to this to to get that switch to work I also have another aftermarket switch that we might have to use we'll see we'll see how it ends up here's the switch he got um, looking at this thing it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to use this switch it's a signal controlled switch um, so this switch is actually controlled by a uh, signal that turns uh, on and off maybe I could run a relay to it I don't know what this guy's is willing to spend um, and then I got this other switch here which you know I could maybe drill a hole in one of them and just drop this thing down in there I think this thing writes lights up red so that might be another cool option for him let me see what he wants to do get these wires ran down um, the back side of the lights you got them all zip tied here's the plugs to them I'll probably bring it along the roof rack maybe get it up underneath this trim and then run it down the side of the window here there's a little rubber trim there that I could probably use seems like the, the wire gauge is small enough to get it down in there get these under the hood and then through the firewall alright guys so I'm gonna do just a couple quick clips of some of the uh, some of the process of this so far I pretty much plugged them in underneath he had these zip ties on here already I got the flush cut snips here it's just gonna cut these all back I added these zip ties I pretty much plugged them all in and then I routed them up here kind of hide the wire and dropped it back these things are in sets and you get two harnesses but what I'll probably do because there's not a whole lot of room in these channels I'm gonna take all four of them and wire them into two cut them down that way I have one speaker wire running down straight to the battery come back in for the switch ground it but I'm just gonna record kinda of the highlights of how I'm gonna do it so right from here I'm just gonna kinda of route it hide the wire as much as possible maybe behind the roof rack route it behind it go through here and then maybe back right here because there's a good solid point there I'll do my splicing and I'll wire all four in right here have that back here hiding and then it'll break down to from four to two and run it down here's where we're at so I taped up the wires to kind of hide the red got them routed in soldered together tucked them back behind the roof rack here threw a couple zip ties on here and then I ran the wire you guys can see it here on down through underneath the little gasket here the track down the side of the windshield all the way down the front right down through there underneath the plastic trim here's the fuse for it here got that sticking out so you could service that and then here's the two ends here clip that onto the battery I'm gonna probably splice into the ground run that inside the car getting ready to take a quick lunch so I just wanted to give you guys a update on it all right so wires routed down coming in through here I got my wires going through to the firewall inside the firewall here right there out of that boot right there at the top I taped them up so it looks stock route them on down over the master cylinder and power booster underneath the plastic and then met up with the ones coming down from the lights here and getting ready to solder this in the ground strap in got the fuses and then tie these off to the battery negative and positive and then those wires going in I routed down through the boot and the firewall right outside that you can see 
And then up and around, you can see him right there. And then I got him coming out right here at the switch. Got the switch pulled out and they just plug in the back. Got my ground and two powers, one going to the lights and one going to the battery. This is what it looks like guys. Can't even tell. I got the power hooked up, negative hooked up right there, routed underneath the battery there. There's the power. You can still put the plastic thing on there. The protector. I got the fuses underneath this little plastic cover there. Beauty cover for the fender. There it is. Can't even tell. A little bit pokes out right there between the two underneath the two pieces of plastic. Route it up. I got the switch on there. Made sure it works. Switch lights up. On. Off. On. Off. So we're going to pop one of these and get this thing mounted down in there. That one there. And as you go, guys, always clean up your mess. Any fingerprints or footprints you leave behind, wipe up, especially on these newer ones. Just courteous to the customer. The customer don't want to pick up his car with a bunch of greasy fingerprints and shoe prints all over. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what it turned out looking like. Got the switch in. It's reaching distance while you're driving. Here. Hey, Lauren. Get in. Turn it on. Off. Looks nice. On. Turned out decent. Cool. Just a quick, uh, rigid LED install. Sorry I couldn't do like a time lapse or the whole video. I had to stop do a couple other things. So the important parts, you know, basically trying to hide the wire, making sure it's protected with fuses, you know, maybe run it to the fuse box on the inside. This guy actually wanted the lights to be on without the key being in. So I didn't want to run it to uh, like an ignition fuse. Um, hope you guys like it. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.